The safety profile for apalutamide is good. It's comparable, at least comparable, to the other agents in this space. In the phase two trial, uh, less than 20% 20 20 of pa patients had to be discontinued from the drug due to side effects. One of the concerns that we have with this class of drugs, be it apalutamide or enzalutamide, or bicalutamide for that matter, is the issue with crossing the blood-brain barrier. And that leads to potential falls and even in the severe case, seizures. Fortunately, in the apalutamide trials, to my knowledge, there have been no seizures related to use of apalutamide and the fall risk has been uh, very manageable uh, less than, I think, 15 or 20 percent, and most of those have been very minor falls. So very, very few grade four, five significant falls with the use of an, an, uh, apalutamide in the Spartan trial. And that's significant because we definitely need drugs in this space to treat our patients with M0 CRPC, but yet these patients are still, for the most part, in excellent health with good performance status that we need a drug that's safe. Fortunately, these patients will likely be alive and well for quite a number of years, so we certainly don't want to give them a drug that's going to have a lot of toxicity. Uh, other side effects that were sometimes seen included diarrhea. I think that occurred in about 20 percent of 20 to 30 percent of the patients. Again, that was relatively mild and, and uh, not a major problem. Apalutamide is given at a dose of 240 milligrams orally once a day. That is the dose that was used in the phase three trials, and I'm assuming that would be the commercially available dose once the drug is cleared by the FDA. The clinical significance is great because this is the first drug to get to this point with the FDA as far as asking for official regulatory approval for M0 CRPC in the setting of these oral, novel oral antiandrogens. Prior to this, there had been a number of bone targeted agents that were a different class of drugs, also trying to see if that class of drugs would delay metastasis in M0 CRPC, and those drugs did not reach significance to achieve FDA approval. So apalutamide, by getting to the point where it delayed clinical metastasis, is the first drug to get to this point with the FDA. And as a clinician in the trenches who takes care of a lot of men with advanced prostate cancer, this would be a significant advance because this would be the first time that I've had a, a new agent in my toolbox to use for M0, M0 CRPC. As a urologist, many of these patients are still in the urology practice, meaning they are patients who we've treated for localized disease, they've been patients that we have placed on traditional androgen deprivation therapy and they're still being followed by us. And so to have a, a novel oral agent such as apalutamide to be approved for M0, CR, M0 CRPC, where I would be able to use that as a urologist, that would be a, a great thing. I think the approval of apalutamide will lead us to move these second generation androgen receptor antagonists earlier in the treatment of prostate cancer. At this time, in the United States at least, we have to wait till there's a, a lesion that we can see on a radiograph. I do know that other countries are able to use these drugs sooner, um, but I believe most countries cannot. So we'll start using our androgen receptor antagonists earlier, and then we'll reserve our chemotherapy and other drugs for later in the disease course.